So now we are live. I'm just gonna wait a few minutes to have some participants show up because we currently have none at the moment. Okay. Okay, cool. So we can go ahead and get started now. Um, so my name is Liz. I'm a psych major and a UH ambassador, and I'm graduating next semester from Deer Park, Texas. Go Cougs. Um, I'm going to hand this presentation over to Sharon now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cougar Preview and to the presentation on the College of Technology, where we're getting people ready to change the world. I'm Dr. Sharon Green. I'm the director of undergraduate recruiting for the College of Technology. And there's my contact information on the screen. I'd be delighted to speak with you at any point. Today, there are others joining me to share with you about the College of Technology. Carlos, will you introduce yourself? Yes, Dr. Green. Uh, my name is Carlos Gonzalez. I'm the academic advisor for the College of Technology, specifically for the engineering technology majors that houses biotechnology, computer engineering technology, electrical power engineering technology, and mechanical engineering technology. Thank I've been you. advising uh, here at U of H for the College of Technology for a little bit over seven years. Very good. Andrew. Hi, everyone. My name is Andrew Abraham. I'm from Houston. I graduated from Ridgepoint High School in Missouri City. I'm currently a sophomore studying supply chain and logistics technology with the global logistics track. Very good, and Rebecca. Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Castellan. I'm a digital media major. I graduated from Young Women's College Prep I'm from here in Houston. And I haven't decided on a sub emphasis plan yet, but I'm on my way. <laughs> Very good, and Andrew and Rebecca are ambassadors for us in the College of Technology. Those of you who are participating and at any time you can receive our online brochure entitled Get Ready to Change the World. You can find it on our website. So let's talk about technology. Technology is everywhere. There is nothing that we do today almost that doesn't involve technology in some form or fashion. So exactly what is technology? In its most basic form, Technology is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes, especially in industry. And of course, we also use the term to refer to the machinery and equipment that is developed from the application of this scientific knowledge. Technology is more than you think. Usually when we think about technology, we think engineering, we think computer science, our cell phones, our uh, computers, but technology is in all these fields, banking, the natural sciences, sports, business, art, retailing, entertainment, hospitality. There is no field you can think of that doesn't involve technology in some way. So when you think in terms of technology, if you like technology and you have other interests, technology complements any career interests. And so think about the things you love to do, things you care about. What do you do well? 
What are things that interest you? And what are environments that you enjoy? And you can add the idea of technology to it and then send it through your other filters as you're deciding on a career. You know, the pay you might be looking for, uh, what matches your skills and talents. Does it challenge you year after year? Does it provide a satisfying work-life balance? Are there opportunities for advancement throughout the career? Our careers are cross-disciplinary. And so below here, you see the various majors that we offer. We have 11 majors in the College of Technology, undergraduate degree majors. And by the way, we also offer master's degrees. And our cross-disciplinary curriculum makes employers view our graduates as career ready. And so when you look at our majors, they may involve a combination of social sciences, some natural sciences, business, and engineering. So let's take a look at the various programs that we have in the College of Technology. And all of the next remain, the few slides uh, following this are going to follow this same format where there's some type of descriptive picture, a definition underneath the picture. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see various job titles. And so if you see a job title that sparks your interest, you might wanna jot it down. You can do further research on it. And these are job titles that our graduates have received uh, are also found in the Department of Labor Statistics. So the first here is biotechnology. Biotechnology students study anatomy, physiology, and characteristics of living organisms and isolated molecules to develop new materials such as pharmaceuticals and biofuels. Most uh, participants are in uh, lab settings such as you see there. Or if you're more in the uh, information side of it, the data uh, management side of the, uh, the field, then you will be more in a computer environment. Some of the job titles include research assistant, research analyst, associate process engineer, clinical data systems manager, pharmaceutical representative, quality control analyst. And again, these are just representative titles. The next degree is computer engineering technology. These individuals design, develop, and integrate computer hardware and software systems. Some of the titles include application developer, computer programmer, information technology consultant, network engineer, software engineer, systems engineer. And so you'll notice that there are several titles there uh, that include engineers. So you can think of technology as another route to a career in engineering as well. We definitely have graduates that pursue an engineering degree, a career. Computer information systems. These individuals use expertise in software design, communications, or business to examine the relationship between organizations and their information systems. So you can imagine that all kinds of organizations, whether we're talking about a school district or a business, that there's all kinds of data that's being collected. So maybe names, addresses, parents' names, grades, and that there must be uh, ways of organizing that information so that you can use it for your business. Individuals may serve as a cybersecurity investigator, information technology analyst, information technology project manager, software architect, software developer, systems engineer. And by the way, project manager is going to show up in other degree titles. Next is construction management. And in our construction management program, you learn how to manage construction projects. It says use specialized project management techniques to plan, design, and construct a project such as buildings, bridges, roads, or pipe systems. And so you're not actually the one that's doing the hammering and nailing, you're overseeing the work to make sure that the project is done as it should be done. You might be a construction specialist, field engineer, a lead planner, project engineer, project manager, or even the superintendent. Next is digital media. 
In digital media, you use a mixture of the digital arts, science, technology, and business to help clients get the right message to the right person with the right media at the right time. Some possible job titles include cost estimator or production planner, digital photographer, page layout designer, social media contact strategist, and a new term, transmedia marketing strategist, variable data communication specialist, and video producer. Rebecca, one of our ambassadors, is actually a digital media major. And so Rebecca, why don't you share a little bit about digital media uh, from your experiences so far? Mm. So I'm a sophomore now in the digital media program. And so far, I find that the digital media program is very unique and different. A lot of students come in thinking that this is a animation or art design program, but it's not exactly that. The truth is that the digital media program is very much a mixture of different disciplines. It is science, technology, and business, not simply you know digital arts. Our students here, they learn how to be not only a videographer or a content strategist or how to design things in Photoshop or Illustrator, but they're also the students that grow up to be the directors, how to manage a team and not simply have one specified or a specialization. Very good, thank you so much. Next is electrical power and engineering technology. And of course, if you've been in the Houston area and you've had experienced our storms, you may have had your electricity go out. So we value these individuals very much. They build, maintain, and develop large networks that connect power generators to users of that power. That's us. You might be a chief service estimator, design engineer, electrical engineer, a field engineer, low voltage designer, or power systems engineer. Human resource development. And people are often surprised to see this in the College of Technology. And this feeds into where I was saying that there was a cross-disciplinary aspect to the College of Technology. These individuals assess needs, create and deliver training and development to increase skills and knowledge. They may, be, they may serve as benefits analysts, human capital manager, human resource manager, instructional designer, learning consultant, organizational change manager, a performance consultant. And so with the uh, COVID uh, situation that we're in now, you can see how instruction has changed, that we have a lot more online learning and that individuals are needed to make sure that that instruction is being done in a way that people can learn and uh, grow from it. Retailing and consumer science. And retail is not dead. We're doing it differently now, but retail is alive and well. Those in, with this major sell consumer goods or services to customers through multiple distribution channels to earn a profit. You may be the business manager, buyer, fashion designer, general manager, marketing manager, or retail manager. A number of students actually come to the Retailing and Consumer Science program from uh, Houston Community College, where their degree programs, you can take the first 60 hours totally there, get your uh, associate's degree, and all of those credits transfer over to our Retailing and Consumer Science program. Next is supply chain and logistics technology. These individuals manage the flow of materials, their transformation into finished goods, and their delivery to the buyer. You may serve as the area manager, export supervisor, import compliance manager, operations manager, project manager. We still always need people to get a project done on time and under budget, and a supply chain planner. Andrew, another one of our ambassadors, is actually majoring in supply chain and logistics technology. Andrew, why don't you share with us your experiences? Yeah, so supply chain is a relatively new field. And as the slide says, it does it, we study the management of flow of materials. The biggest values to society is we boost customer service, we reduce operating costs, and we overall improve the financial position of a company. 
specifically in our major at the College of Technology, we're equipped with really experienced staff that gives us really insightful um, pra practices into our field. Okay, thank you so much. And the final degree that I'll share with you is technology leadership and innovation management. These individuals develop and manage organizations and teams to solve problems. And so if you think in terms of these being the individuals that say, what's the next thing that's coming up? What, uh, what do we need to prepare in order that people are ready to deal with their world next? And think about the innovation that has taken place recently. We've had, uh, we've heard the story of individuals who may have been selling whiskey one day and now they're making sanitizer sanitizer so that they can uh, address the COVID need. It involves that transfer of information from one person to another. And so it's taking it from raw materials to seeing how to make it happen, as well as how to uh, identify that next great invention. So you might be a business strategist, innovation manager, operations specialist, project manager, our technology manager. And so if any of those degrees struck your fancy, then by all means, follow up with us. But there's more. The College of Technology will support you all along the way. And so I'm going to ask uh, for our other, particip our other uh, presenters, I'm going to ask if Carlos will share more about uh, the role of the academic advisor. And then I'm going to ask uh, Rebecca and then Andrew to share their experiences as students in the College of Technology. So Carlos? Yes, Dr. Green. Uh, so yeah, um, me as an academic advisor, obviously the main functions is obviously advise our students in the engineering technology department, the four specific majors in biotech, computer engineering technology, mechanical, and electrical power engineering technology. But I think uh, we're more than just advisors of just telling students, hey, take these set of courses this semester and then take the next set and, and stuff that. In fact, uh, we fulfill other roles uh, to kind of figure out you know, a lot of students, the reality is that when they come in, you know, they, they say they wanna be in this major and then they end up, you know, three, three years later, maybe switch into another major. And that's something that, that happens. And that's something that we as advisors, we wanna make sure that you find uh, the major you wanna be into. And if, it, if you decide to go into mechanical engineering technology and you know for sure this is what you wanna do, uh, we wanna make sure that this is the major you wanna go into. We wanna solidify that, the, the mate, that you made this, the same choice. But we also have students that come in from, um, want to go into the College of Engineering. That's something that we also as advisors need to kind of separate ourselves from College of Engineering versus College of Technology. And usually when I tell students, you know, when they're trying to figure out, it's like, what's the difference? Because we do offer mechanical engineering technology and the College of Engineering offers mechanical engineering or we offer computer engineering technology and they offer computer engineering technology. As advisors, we also, uh, we have to distinguish, you know, what makes us different and, and the same, you know, why they should choose us versus them or why they should choose over, uh, with them or versus us, you know, because we don't want to assume or just to start saying that we're better or anything like that. We want to make sure that you find the right place, something that you feel like, hey, this is for me. And the way to distinguish College of Engineering uh, uh, versus College of Technology specifically in the engineering technology department is that it's how your brain is wired to learn. Uh, one of the things is that when you're trying to differentiate mechanical engineering or mechanical engineering technology, is the reality is that we're taking those same theory courses like thermodynamics, fluids, strength. Uh, they're taking those same courses as well here and we offer those same courses as well in our college. Uh, in, but the way to differentiate the, the two would be because they're more analytical. Uh, ours is more applying the theory. So they are theory based, we're applying the theory. So if it's how your brain is wired to learn to, if you're more hands-on, 
that's how you learn through that process, then we basically tell you, you should be in the College of Technology. Because if your brain is more wired through the process of doing, of you know, putting your hands to work, to applying the theory, because you, you also have to learn the theory, but we take it a step further by applying it. That's why we have labs with those. And that's how you differentiate that. If you're more na- analytical, then I definitely encourage you to go to college engineering. But for us, we want to make sure that you find the right place that fits you. And a lot of students, they, you know, they want to do engineering, but they have it differently, have thought differently when they came in. And they thought they were supposed to do hands-on to, to learn the, the, what you're supposed to do, those concepts of theory. Us, we're teaching that through the process of that. Uh, and that's why that what makes it different is how your brain is more wired to learn. The same thing, the thing is that we're also the same, engineering and technology. When you, if there were basically two of you, one goes to engineering and the other one goes to technology. When both of you graduate in mechanical engineering or mechanical engineering and technology, both of you, after you graduate, both of you can sit in for the FE exam, the fundamentals of engineering. After that, after you're working in the workforce, for an engineering firm, four to five, four to eight years, both of you, because both of you come from an ABAT accredited institution, both of you can sit in for the PE exam, the professional engineering exam. So that's why uh, we're, we're more than just advising students to take these set of courses. It's trying to figure out if we wanna make sure where you fit in and you're making sure you're making the right decisions. That's what the role of the advisor is. Very good. And they do it extremely well. <laughs> okay, Rebecca. So for student experiences, I want to talk about the career fairs that you as a digital media major, a lot of um, opportunities come your way because of the career fairs. For example, as a first year, as a freshman, the work, first year workshops and also the career fairs for you know, uh, internships, for applying for jobs. As you grow through the years, that opportunity really helps you in developing yourself professionally, but also as a student. And then as a senior in the digital media program, you reach the point where you can attend the digital, the DigiFest it's called, and it's where seniors get to present their portfolios to recruiters, to possible employers. And that's where a lot of students, as they leave the University of Houston, and as they go out into the professional world, that's where they get a lot of their job offers from. And they already have experiences in, in the field or from previous uh, job experiences because of the internships that they got from previous career fairs. And so I feel like it's a really important aspect or a really helpful part of the student experience here at the College of Technology. Thank you. Andrew. Alrighty, so just to say, um, share some personal information, um, I started getting interested in this in supply chain through talking to industry professionals. So if some of you are still antsy on what you want to do, I definitely recommend reaching out to some industry professionals and just getting their insight on what the day to day life of the role is. Also, I had some experience in DECA as well, and it's a high school club that um, gave us insight in it. So supply chain is qu- a quite competitive field. So you really wanna focus on standing out. And in the College of Technology, you're given so many resources, anywhere between resume help, all the way to specialized clubs and organizations you can be a part of, which really develop your resume and help you be more promotable to advisors. Some recommendations I would give to students is just to be pretty open to the supply chain industry, just because it's not as known, but it is something that all businesses need and as well as all other aspects of work. Thank you, Andrew. And so some of the couple of things that uh, you see on your screen that were not mentioned, uh, we offer uh, several scholarships and uh, we list those scholarships on our website. And so by all means, take a look at that. Uh, social events that we realize uh, you can't work all the time. And we're looking to build a community, a network among us. And so we do have social events. COVID has uh, put a damper on that, but we uh, do are concerned about students building relationships uh, while they're students with us. 
And finally, there's service uh, events. So I'm, as the director of undergraduate recruiting, I often do programs with students who are in middle school, uh, actually even elementary school, as well as high school. And so we ask students to help with that on many occasions, as well as through their professional organizations, their service events. And so you get uh, that whole community feel within the College of Technology. And Carlos, if you will talk about admissions. Sure, yes. Uh, so um, the, if, depending on the students that we have here in today's audience, uh, either you're a uh, incoming freshman or you know about to graduate uh, next this year, this coming year or the following year, or if you're a transfer, definitely you wanna look at these admissions requirements. Uh, these are just a glimpse of or a sample of what we're looking for for students that uh, that you're trying to apply to U of H in general. And then obviously uh, College of Technology does have other additional requirements um, that you can look at. Uh, this is one of the, some of the information for admissions requirements and high school re requirements for this slide. And then the, the next slide also gives you uh, other additional requirements, um, freshman or transfer. Uh, based off of this information, I still, as an economic advisor, I definitely encourage you when you're in that process of applying to admissions, you need to make sure to talk to an admissions counselor here at U of H. You can definitely set up a, a virtual advising that, that U of H admissions does so you can make sure they can, you know, basically walk you through the steps of applying, making sure you got the right information that you need. Uh, any test scores, or do you have any dual credit, uh, transfer credit courses, any of that, they want to make sure they, they put you in the right place to make uh, that you're admitted to your age and, and get into the uh, college that you want to go into. Thank you. And so one final comment is that the College of Technology is serious about in, uh, providing an inclusive environment. We want you to feel that you belong in the College of Technology. I actually co-chaired the college's task force on anti-racism, and we're talking with faculty, staff, as well as students to make sure that we're doing all that we can do to ensure that all categories of people are successful in the College of Technology. And that concludes the presentation. We'd be happy to entertain any questions you may have. We yes, thank so, you. <laughs> yeah, so um, right now we are going to be opening the floor for a uh, Ask Me Anything session. So we're going to be using the remainder of the time um, to answer any questions you may have. Uh, so if you are in the live stream right now, just type any questions that you have into the chat um, and I will relay them. I know we only got two participants in the chat, which is fine. Okay. Um, so if you don't have any questions, just put don't have any questions. Also, if you do think of more questions later on, uh, you can always screenshot this contact information right here. Uh, so you can ask those questions that you have. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any questions that um, are being asked in the chat at the moment. Okay. So um, do any of y'all have any like closing statements before we head out? Because that will actually be the end. Okay, we'd just like to thank you again for joining us and don't hesitate to reach out to us afterwards. We look forward to talking with you. Yes, great. Yeah, everybody have a great day. Uh, happy Halloween and go Cougs. Bye. Go Cougs.